Well, one of the advantages that China has is they are training uh, more AI researchers than anyone in the world. They, more of the top AI researchers come from China than any other country. Now, the disadvantage from China's standpoint is they tend to lose their best AI researchers. They go abroad to the United States and Europe, and then many of them don't come back. And so China is sitting on a, a latent potential of AI researchers, but they're losing a lot of that talent overseas. So that's an opportunity for China if they can harness that and keep more of the AI scientists or find ways to bring them back to China. Uh, but right now, their policies are, are really probably benefiting that Chinese talent is benefiting other countries outside China more. Yeah, and let's talk about the computing power piece also. <clears throat> so it's clear that semiconductors and specific AI, specific chips that are required to have the kind of compute power that you want for your AI models and your AI training engines is now becoming a, a, a geopolitical battle, right? Um, right. <clears throat> the US wants to deny certain um, hardware and capabilities on that front to, to its rival. The Chinese, of course, are saying, we're going to go one step deeper here and the rare earth materials that you need to make some of these chips, we're going to maybe possibly cut off access on that. Where do you see this computing power battle? Uh, how do you see it panning out? given now the confrontation has been laid out? Well, I think we're only at the beginning, and I think it's likely to ratchet up in the years ahead, because these most powerful AI systems, large language models like ChatGPT, they use massive amounts of computing power. So there's a lot of data, and then to train these huge data sets, they need lots of computing power to train the algorithms on all of that data. And so the biggest and most capable AI systems are using thousands of very specialized chips running for weeks or months at a time. And these chips are only made in a very small number of places, predominantly in Taiwan and to a lesser extent in South Korea. And they're only made using equipment that's built by three countries in the world, Japan, the Netherlands, and the United States. And so as you pointed out, these have already become a battleground of competition globally because the US has put in place export controls and more recently, Japan and the Netherlands joined those earlier this year on the manufacturing equipment. And then the U.S. even putting controls on the chips themselves going to China. And so that's going to constrain China's ability to compete. But if we continue to see the most advanced models using more and more computing power, the value of these chips is only going to go up. And if these export controls stay in place, which I think they're quite likely to do so, it's gonna widen the gap between China and other countries that are able to access these computer chips. And that's gonna cause China to fall even further behind. So we may see retaliation from China in the long run. I think that's a definite possibility. Okay, so if you, on that last point, if you're a Chinese strategist now, you see this, you see this is happening, you see the requirement for computing power just going up over time, and you understand that you're gonna be denied access. If you're a Chinese strategist, what do you do? Well, I think it depends on where you are in the Chinese ecosystem. If you're a Chinese researcher who can get an opportunity to study abroad, you might just move overseas and leave China to get access to the computing power so that you can build these more capable systems. I mean, researchers want to do research, right? Now, for the Chinese government, of course, they're going to work really hard to try to overcome these barriers. To a small extent today, they can get there by spending more money, but that's not going to work in the long term. So China's working hard to build their own indigenous supply chain to go around these export controls. Uh, but it's, I think it's really unclear in the long run how effective that's going to be. Absolutely.